Hi guys, welcome to WebSense Pro. Welcome to an app review video. So today I'm going to review an app which will add subscriptional functionality to your Shopify store. So natively Shopify does not have the subscription feature and subscription is really important to boost your store revenue and it will motivate your customer to add in more order and it will increase the lifetime value of your revenue of the store. So it's really important feature which you should have and the app which we will be reviewing is subscription order as you can see on my screen um, i'll put the link in the description as well the quality about this app is that they do not charge any transaction fee so most of the apps available in the shopify app store you will see that they charge per transaction but this app doesn't charge per transaction that's a fixed price and another good thing about this app is that they'll install and customize the subscription plan for free on your store and then also customize the layout and color scheme of the app to your store without any charge and the support is awesome so you just have to install an app contact the support and within 24 hours they will install this app to your store with all of the features which you will tell them which you want to have as a subscription based model on your store. I already installed that on my development store to see how it works. And uh, so that's a sample product where I set it up. And as you can see, it's showing up option here on how we can set that up. So we have one time purchase and 10% off on subscription. So if someone buys this product on a subscription basis, they'll be getting 10% off. We have these uh, different variations of the product so it's basically a popcorn and if someone buys uh, the medium size which is the $15 they'll get 10% off if they buy it on a subscription basis so guys it's really important to have that feature if you are looking to grow on a subscription based model uh, what I'm gonna do I'm going to install this on our development store and show you guys step by step on how you can install this app and how you can add this subscription feature on your store so let's start with it. I'm going to open the development store. So that's the development store where I will add this app. Okay guys, so open up that link and click on stall. That's where it's asking for the permission to view the customers and product data. I'm going to click on stall button again. Okay, our app has been installed. Now, the first step is to create a subscription plan. So on my store, I have this product added. That's the product where we will add the subscription feature, right? So let's create a subscription plan on this app first. So let's click on add subscription plan. And as it says, there are no subscription plans. Get started by creating one. Click on create subscription plan. And again, you can contact the support team of this app and they will install uh, all of the subscription feature, whatever you will write them via support or they will also customize the color scheme as to match it with your store. So it's really helpful and you will get that within a day. Okay, for now, I'm going to create it manually without the help of the support. So you guys can do that on your own. Let's name it subscribe and save as the placeholder here. Sub underscore save. I'm going to do the same and uh, description is optional. So I'm going to leave that delivery frequency. Just add delivery frequency as the same as the placeholder. Okay. So it says that we can create plan just for the customers which have specific tags. So if you already have customers and you want to offer some additional discount to those customers, you can add in those tags here and they will be visible to only those customers who have those specific tags. And uh, we will create a subscription plan here. So we will offer 10% discount to whoever buys it on a weekly subscription basis right so let's type in delivery every week save 10 percent okay i'm going to copy that same on my description and the uh, frequency is every week delivery every week and save 10 percent okay 
I missed the week. And in frequency distribution, I'm going to mention every week. Plan type pay as you go. You can take uh, the prepaid as well. I'm going to select the pay as you go. Delivery every week. We want one delivery every week. Now it says use original product price or change product price for subscription. We want to change subscription price and offer a discount. So I'm going to select change product price for subscription. And now we have the option to fix selling price. We can add the discount fixed amount of the discount and we can also offer percentage. I'm going to select percentage discount and let's add in 10. And here's another option. It will adjust the price after deliveries. So if you want to increase the discount or decrease the discount after certain amount of deliveries, you can do that from this option. This is also really a cool feature, which I don't think any other subscription app has. So if you want a feature where you want to adjust the price of product or discount after two deliveries or after five deliveries, you can do that from here. For now, I'm going to leave that because I don't want that feature. Okay, now we have set that up. Now I'm going to click on save. Perfect. We have our subscription plan created. Now, as it says that it's associated with zero products, meaning we haven't added that on our product. How we can do that? So let's open up the back end of that product where we want to add this subscription. Okay, click on the product. And here I'm going to scroll down. And here we have purchase options showing up. I'm going to click on add purchase option and select existing option. So here's the option which is added by the subscription herder app. And that's the subscription plan which we created. So let's click on that and click on add plans. Perfect. Now click on save. It's automatically saved. And now we will add the widget, add the block of the subscription herder to the product page. We have added this to our product pricing, but if we go to this product and hit refresh, it's not going to show the subscription option. This is because we'll have to add it from the customized settings of the theme. So let's do that. Click on online store and then click on customize. And now I'm going to open up my product template. And here's my product. Now from here, I'm going to click on add block. And here we have a tab for apps. So select that. And here we have option showing up. I'm going to click on this one subscriptions. And here we have our subscription option showing up. As a purchase option, I'm going to scroll that up and put it below my quantity selector. Perfect. It's showing now below quantity. Now I don't want to display buy it now button because they might not add it to the cart and directly buy it now without adding the subscription. So I'm going to hide the buy it now button by clicking on this buy buttons and then unchecking this show dynamic checkout buttons. Perfect. Now click on save. And now if I open up the product page and hit refresh, you can see that our purchase option is showing up subscribe and save. And it says delivery frequency every week. And now it's saying dollar nine per shipment. So we can also change this subscribe and save to say subscribe and save 10% from our app settings or from our customized settings as well. So if I go to the block of this subscription herder, here we have option to customize. So we can just change the header to say save 10% on subscription or we can simply rename this plan to say subscribe and save 10 percent 
let's rename this here because it's looking a bit smaller so i'm going to uh change this and rename it with subscribe and save 10 percent just going to add another additional 10 percent here so let's leave it as purchase options here and uh, now i'm going to open up my app click on apps here we have subscription harder let's spin it so it shows up on our menu here and uh Here we have our subscription plan showing up. I'm going to rename it to subscribe and save 10%. So let's add it subscribe and save 10%. And uh, yep, it's save. And now let's check it out. Cool. Now it's saying subscribe and save 10%. So if someone want to uh, purchase one time it's the default price of the product but if they subscribe to this product they'll get a 10 percent discount on every variation as the medium size is 15 dollar and it will reduce the 10 percent from the original amount cool also we can change the colors here so if you want to change the colors of the border you can do that from here from the block settings Additionally, you can also change uh, the styling here more by adding the custom CSS from here. So you can add the custom CSS here and uh, just you'll need to find the proper selector of that. So let's try changing the border width to a little bit more darker so i'm going to hit refresh and going to find the border width and try to increase the border width to see if the custom css option works fine by the way all of these all of this customization things can be done uh with this help of support you don't need to do anything you will just contact them via chat support and they'll be doing all of this customization type of stuff free of cost all you have to do is just buy the subscription plan app and uh, they will do that for you without you needing to hustle with the code. Let's find the border. So that's the class which we will need to add to our custom CSS to increase the size of our border. So we will increase the size to be three pixel i think that's enough so let's copy that and uh, perfect let's do a two pixel i think and let's see how it looks after saving because we haven't added any color, it should not show a gray color border. Let's refresh. Okay, it's not showing any color, so we'll have to add the color as well. So we'll just copy this color as well. Add in the color. Perfect. I think you get the idea of how you can play with inspect tool to customize it to match it with your theme. But again, you don't have to do all this customization type of CSS code stuff, which is available via the support. All you have to do is contact the support and they'll customize it, install it as per your requirements. And that's it for the video, guys. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, which will help me create more valuable content for you guys. Until next video, have a great day.